$44 million is now heading to our coast to help fund a range of projects from fairgrounds to road work. Noah Noble was at the announcement of these Restore Act funds and he joins us live with details. Noah. Yeah, Jennifer, that $44.5 million is being divided among 15 projects. That money is going to build up and improve coastal Mississippi, like right here at Point Cadet Marina in Biloxi. The harbor here is being overhauled. The old piers are being dug up and new floating piers are being brought in. Where else is that money being spent? Well, let's start with Highway 609 in Jackson County, where money is being dedicated to build new sidewalks and crosswalks. All the problems we have on 609 with about 45,000 cars a day will be remedied by this and it'll make it a whole lot safer road and we're almost there on the funding. That money is funding phase two of the project. So what about phase one? We've actually got it out to an engineer now. They're designing it. So I hope construction starts next year, 2024. On the other side of the coast, three and a half million dollars is helping improve the Hancock County Fairgrounds. Port and Harbor Commissioner Blaine LaFontaine says that money will supplement the $20 million in funding that's already secured. The scope of that is to have a 67,000 square foot uh, arena combined with uh, RV improvements, site improvements, and ex uh, other exterior facility improvements to try to create a regional asset uh, to really enhance tourism uh, and mixed sports opportunities that we believe this market really you know, so can support and grow. LaFontaine hopes to see the project out to bid in spring 2024 with construction complete sometime within the next three years. In Harrison County, the Coast Coliseum is getting $1.8 million for security improvements that Executive Director Matt McDonald says will help attract more headline artists to Biloxi. The artists and their management are also concerned about it. So when they know that a building has gone that extra mile to make sure they have the, the best equipment available to screen people coming into the facilities, those buildings get a little bit uh, higher priority when it comes to routing tours. That technology is what's being required now, and this gives us the money to afford that technology where we can stay uh, competitive and keep bringing business to, to coastal Mississippi. The 15 projects involved with this latest round of Restore Act funds. Other money is being dedicated to Gulfport Biloxi International, where a new aircraft maintenance facility is being built. There is also a improvements that are being done to the Pascagoula Scenic Trail. You can see a full breakdown of where all this money is going on our website. Live in Biloxi, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.